welcome back everybody uh, so yeah the uh, shooting range was really really fun and so today I'm going to be doing something different I'm going to go to a, a military museum which is about 10-15 minute drive away which shouldn't be too bad I was going to do this yesterday but I felt a bit off yesterday so I've just rain checked it till today so it's going to happen today so hopefully I'll get some good footage some good uh, some pictures as well and uh, maybe learn learn a thing or two. I'll have to wait and see. So let's get on the road and uh, head off up there. <laughs> right, we've just turned up now. As you can, a bit of a sneak preview of some of the stuff. If you can just about see it in the background. Uh, let's get ready and walk around and uh, look at some cool things. Oh, well, I did record the first bit of this, but for some reason it stopped recording. I can come back and get some more of it anyway, but right, continuing on. I, I can always put the pictures on the ones that I've just seen before this, so... If I'll get around to re-recording it, I'll uh, just put the photos in. It's a hewer. Awesome. I don't even know what that was, I just took a photo of some sort of missile carrier probably. Let's go and have a look at these planes over here. And then we'll have a look back at what I've kind of missed and need to redo. It's an F-86 jet fighter. That's what rockets would be on the wings. It's got a massive payload on it already. It's a jet attack close support aircraft. Came out of service in 1992. Now that's an old one. Just imagine you're there, sat there chilling away, and this comes terrorising past you. F8. To it was the first jet fighter assigned to the Oklahoma National Air Guard. The aircraft on display has been converted from a two-seat T-33 jet trainer to a single-seat configuration. It was only in service for six years. That's incredible. There's some more stuff over there. I can, have, I can come back to that. I just need to go and get the bits that I've missed again. I mean, there's lo absolutely loads of stuff. Absolutely loads. I don't know how much battery power I've got left in my camera. Right, now redo what I've missed. That, for some reason, didn't record. I'll be cutting out all the uh, you know, boring walkie parts. 
heavy eight inch gun only 139 made and it was in service from 41 to 45 Guessing these are the people that sadly lost their life in the war, World War One and World War Two, Korea and Vietnam. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Some of the stuff that you can see. Let's go and look at that tank. Let's go this way and work his way back. It's a cool looking plane over there. The Sherman M4A1 Sherman medium tank with 60, 76 millimeter gun it was made by Chrysler and it was in service from 42 to 54 but it would have been incredible to see something like that in action <laughs> That's a cool little helicopter. Although, I think it's just a model. There's no glass on it. You got OH 13E Sioux observation helicopter. 250 horsepower piston engine. It's Bell Helicopters' first type helicopter used by the 45th Division in Korea and it was in service from 48 to 70 so it had a good 22 years in service a good 22 years there's a golf course over there I keep hearing there's someone coming over and turn an announcement saying people's groups are ready to go That's a two and a half ton, six by six, M211 cargo truck, and it was in service from the fifth, from 1950 till the 60s. No definitive uh, answer on when it was uh, out of service, but sometime in the 60s. That's pretty cool, is that? That is absolutely pretty cool. Oh, this is a cargo trailer oh, and an M8 motor carriage with a 75mm howitzer it's a little stubby gun small little tank but I would guess pretty effective It's like a little Cessna, but it's kind of modified for the army's purposes. It does look like a Cessna, it's like what you'd normally fly naturally. The bird dog. Light observational, oh yeah, Cessna in service from 50 to 72, so I've got 22 years service as well. Not too bad. 
Not too bad at all. Oh, not this. This is a bad boy. So, it's pretty good so far, like. Fire engine. It's pretty good so far, I mean, some of the stuff you can see is just insane. Totally worth the journey out here today. This is a medium tank and 47 Patton Detroit Arsenal. It's in service from 52 to 77. So again, 25 years service, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Little, little tiny one. 75 millimeter pack howitzer. M1A1 with M1 carriage. Rock Island Arsenal and it was in service from the 20s to the 50s. So it didn't serve in World War I, but it served in World War II. That's pretty incredible. Eight inch towed howitzer. M115 with an M5 limber assembled at Rock Island Arsenal, Illinois. That was only in service from 42 to 53, so it had a good, good 11 years. Oh, what flies about. Such a nice day as well. Nice and peaceful. I like the sounds of that gun. To operate one of these, it must have been in absolutely incredible. I know my brother would appreciate all this stuff as well, so I shall be letting him look at all these and experience what I'm experiencing. That's like that's a proper small, small profile tank. It's a command and recon carrier. And that was in service for 17 years, from 63 to 1980. That's not too bad. Look at that on the roof there. It's like a multi-directional viewing chamber type thing. Although, I don't know how they would have actually, unless that's what where the driver sits. Probably is where the driver sits, to be honest, because there'd be nowhere else for them to see out of. And it's fully uh, armoured up, so yeah. I thought it would have had a path leading down here as well, instead of walking down grass. It just says light observation helicopter. K use. Oh, and it was in service from 1961 to present. So, that currently is the longest serving vehicle that we have come across. And you've got a nice little fighter jet there as well. Take a photo of that one. I don't know if you can see that one, but it's on the photo, but it should be fine. What is that one? The U3 li Liaison Aircraft. And it's a Cessna again, and also still currently in service. Oh, and that one. Still will be in service again, I reckon. That is awesome. And that is a helicopter, Kiowa. And that's from, been in service from 1969 to present. So again, it's currently in service still. I don't know 
button if I took a photo of this one. But see, there's that much stuff that no, I didn't take a photo of it because I went down that side. So I'll have another look at this one. I think this is the one that I filmed at first. Or is it? I don't know, possibly. That's awesome. I mean, that's where a driver would sit. That's where the gunner would sit. He'd have the best job. Uh, I don't know who, who would sit there, unless that's the guy who reloads. Yeah, that's probably where the reloader would sit. There'd be someone there passing up the missile, well, the, the ammo to him, and he'd load it in, and then that guy, unless the driver would do it as well, he'd like drive, stop, and kind of like change seats. It's called Scorpion, that one. That is pretty cool, is that? Not gonna lie. That is pretty cool. It's an anti-tank gun. Self-propelled with 90mm gun. And that was in service from 53 to 71. That is pretty cool, is that? And that is a raven. Observation helicopter, one Lycoming. And it's uh, been in service from 53 to 1970. You can probably hear the clicking of all the um, all the photos I'm taking. Which is fine. Future me will be trying to edit those out. But that's why I'm trying to remain quiet whilst I'm taking photos. So that way, you know, it's not click, 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 constantly like you can hear. There's some, there is some pretty cool stuff here. I mean, there's awesome looking tanks. Weapons carrier. See, that'd be, you, that's something you'd probably see driving the streets into this today's day and age. I mean, if I was seeing that d driving down the street, I'd, I would actually love that. It's made by Dodge as well. It's a Dodge. But it was only in service for two years. I wonder why. Oh, look at this bad boy. Look at this. That is a monster of a tank. Absolute beast of a tank. And it's a heavy tank. M-103 A2. And it was in service for 21 years. Absolute monster of a tank. Come down to that one in a minute because I've got all them tanks over there to look at. They're all that probably will be modern day ones, so yeah, definitely have a look at them. Look at this bad boy here. Duster. Look at them guns. Twin 40mm turrets, anti-aircraft guns. That was in service from 52 to 1975. Most of these are made by General Motors or um, Chrysler. So it's kind of like, you know, just the same type of manufacturer, which is good, because you know they're, they're, they're using the ones they can rely on. Two and a half ton cargo truck. Again, General Motors. Automatic, and this was in service from 52 to 66, so it had a good 14 year run. That's pretty cool. And this, look at that. It's a cool looking plane. It's called Beaver. Light utility airplane, de Havilland. 
in service from 1951 to 1968. This one, this is the one that you know you can drive on land and on sea amphibious truck super duck w two and a half ton amphibious truck again general motors is only in service for seven years from 53 to 1960 that'd be cool that just driving down the street and thinking right i want to go for a, you know a sail somewhere and you just drive into water and away you go. A heavy tank retriever is one of the ones I saw earlier. Yeah, I'm getting, I think I've getting to the ones that I've already done. I'll go through them again. Might as well. The Prime Mover. That was in service from 42 to the 60s. I wonder what they've moved with that then. No, I don't think, yeah, I did get this far because I remember seeing that and I walked up to there to them ones. How am I doing for battery power? 36%. All in all, it's been a rather interesting day out to be honest. Probably already have a photograph of that as well, but I'll take another one anyway because it's a really cool looking tank. See, that's where the uh, golf course is that I can hear. Yeah, I think I will go inside. I'll just change my batteries first because I've got 33% left. Right, I was going to change my battery and then I shall resume this walkthrough. Right, I am back. I've got a fresh battery, I've been over there. Let's have a look down here. Some stuff down there to look at and then we'll go into that to the museum itself. You never know, I might be able to get some sort of souvenir. That'd be cool if we can get some sort of souvenir to the memory keepsake and you got some more stuff over there we'll have a look at them oh that's where i took the wrong turn there that's where it would have brought me in but it didn't Really cool stuff here. Really cool stuff. I'm looking forward to actually making this video now. I won't walk up the grass. Have a bit of respect. Yeah, that's definitely the road I came down. So I got to about there, just before the road turns. If anyone would have seen me, it would have been highly embarrassing. Even though it was like right next to a bloody sheriff's office. So the sheriff's probably saw me. That's cool. What is it? Self propelled M44A1. I was in service from 56 to 62. That was pretty cool. Oh, atomic dog. Atomic dog. That's a bit of a beast. 
heavy howitzer, eight inch self-propelled. And I was in service from 56 to 95. So nearly 40 years in service. Must have been a good one to last that long. Oh yeah, definitely, look at that. That's another six wheeler. five ton six by six cargo truck again that wasn't in service for long but it's all blacked out that's awesome there's another one the six by six has seemed to have been pretty popular really popular medium wrecker Rio Motors we have a new one and it's in service from 1959 to unknown that means it could still be in service yeah sheriff's office is over there PC, yeah, armored personnel carrier, full tracked FMC M84 carrier for 4.2 inch mortar, and it's in service from 52 to 68. Don't know what that would be, but that that's the daddy of all stuff. surface to air missile probably I don't know I ain't got a clue what I'm on about it's a rocket launcher 762 mm to m289 honest John I've heard of honest John pretty sure I have five ton on a six by six truck from 59 to the 60s, so it was only in service for a short period of time, but I'm pretty sure I've heard of Honest John. Yeah, we'll have a look at inside, see what they've got like. <laughs> 